Hi everyone, it's Cindy. I'm here doing my November favorites and I know that it's a little bit behind, but I thought better late than never. Uh, I've been really busy this past week, so I couldn't get this up earlier. But um, yeah, let's just get right into it because there's quite a few products. I'm going to start with makeup and my first favorite is this Jumbo Eye Crayon from Sephora. It is in the color khaki um, and it is a 12 hour waterproof liner. It just looks like that. It's not too intense of a color, but it really makes your eyes pop, and I just, I love it on. Brown eyes, it has like a gold flex in the green. They're around $12, and they're a lot like the Urban Decay ones, but much cheaper. My next makeup favorite is just mini mascara. Both of these aren't like amazing, but I love the idea of a mini size. An Origins Ginseng Mascara. This is a Smashbox Eye Bright Brightening Photo Op Mascara. You can usually get these for free with um, your Sephora points or with gifts for purchase. And they last approximately, like depending on how much mascara you use, between a month and like two months. That way you never have your mascara longer than the recommended three months because I tend to like hold on to mascaras way too long. This way they run out or dry up in the kind of safety window uh, so you don't have to worry about bacteria building up. And also you get to try out a whole bunch of different mascaras, a lot of which are kind of higher end so you don't have to invest in something and figure out that doesn't really do much for you or you don't like the consistency or what have you. I've been loving trying these out. These are both good mascaras but they just sort of, they don't blow me away. I also love this B Camus Bio Maple Lip Balm. This came in a Luxe box a long, long time ago, so it's just a sample, but this is a beautiful lip balm. It's not sticky, gives a nice sheen, it really is moisturizing. I know it's a Canadian product, I'm not sure where you would buy it, I think maybe Sephora sells it. And my last beauty item is the Gimme Brow from Benefit. I am not wearing this today, but I have been wearing it a lot. The little brush looks like that and it is in the darker brown color and it just is so easy to use and it just keeps my brows in place. It really looks very natural, like it's a no fail product. And if you're not really that great at makeup, like I'm not really that great at makeup, uh, it's just super easy to use. So I know it's really hard to get, it's always sold out, but if you can find it, it's totally worth it and I love it. Moving on to hair and skincare. I've been loving the Planscription line, once again, from Origins. I have a new serum from them. I also have the Planscription's Anti-Aging Eye Treatment, which looks like that. This is amazing because it's not too thick. It's sort of a more of a gel-like consistency, and it doesn't give you those bumps under your eyes, and it, just, it really works at um, preventing any kind of fine lines and helping brighten and smooth the area around your eyes. And this serum is by far the best serum I've ever used. I've tried a bunch from Origin, I've tried Clinique, I've tried Ren. This is the best one. And I'm not old, so I don't really have wrinkles, but it really works at just making your face look fresh and well-rested and youthful. Definitely spend your money on your moisturizers first, then go to a serum because this is very expensive. It's like $70 almost for this size, and this is the small one. Um, it's only 30 mil. This will give you a noticeable difference to your skin. And you can read all the reviews on the Origins website. It's like people love that product. Um, another Origins item is called Starting Over. It's the Age Erasing Oil-Free Moisturizer with Mimosa. Looks like that. I've already used most of it. This is an oil-free night cream. It's very lightweight, which I like because I'm using serum and other things at night. I don't like a heavy cream, and I do have combination skin, which is prone to breaking out. It's the number one moisturizer on Origins that people in the comments recommend if you have acne-prone skin. It's meant to be for age reversing so it is meant to be for older skin which normally I would go for something in like the perfect world range which is more age preventing um, and it's meant for more youthful skin but they said this one is the best the best for if you have potential breakouts so I went for this one and I, I honestly love it it just it hasn't really broken out my skin and it just makes my skin look so fresh and lovely and it's not too thick so Definitely check this out. Don't be scared of the kind of anti-aging, meant for older skin thing. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't use it if you're not, if you're younger. So yeah, I love that. Another skincare product I've been trying is the Tea Tree Water from Lush. I love the Tea Tree um, acne treatment that they have, Grease Lightning. So I was looking for a new toner to replace my Clinique Acne Solutions toner because I just didn't want to use too many harsh things on my skin anymore. And I like 
tea tree oil because it's antibacterial so it definitely prevents bacteria if you do have a, uh, a breakout from spreading on your face and I was just using pure tea tree oil on that and apparently that's really bad for your skin because it can burn your skin and cause like a scar so this is a diluted kind of version with some calming um, other calming ingredients and it works really really well I have to say the only negative is that it doesn't work as well on um, keeping my pores clear as the acne solutions one I definitely have to use like pore strips and things like that I do like it in terms of just like preventing my breakouts from getting more severe and spread and I will be repurchasing it and it lasts a really long time like, my skin's actually much much better right now um, it was pretty bad for a while and it's definitely like super improved in the last uh, month or so but I've been using these um, natural products because I wanted something that would still help with keeping my skin clear but wasn't as harsh so the Burt's Bees anti blemish solutions with natural willow bark cleanser. I really like this because the salicylic, 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 ugh, I cannot say that word, salicylic acid, <laughs> that was a tongue twister, um, that's in this is a natural occurring. It only has 1% of the acid in it, so it's not really that strong, but it just is like a little protective buffer, you know, when I feel like hormonal, that my skin might break out. I use that. <laughs> and lastly is the Alba Botanicals line. I'm obsessed. This is the Hawaiian cocktail body wash with exfoliating lava flow. This is my favorite body wash. I've bought this like four times already. This one's empty. I need to get a new one. Um, but it has this little exfoliating beads in it. It smells amazing. And then the shampoo and conditioners in the lines I love. Right now I'm using the Gardenia one, which is smoothing. But my favorite is the coconut one, which is the moisturizing one. And the honeydew melon one, which is the shine one. They give All of them give your hair an incredible shine. They're really softening. The only negative thing to them is that the smell doesn't really hold in your hair. Um, I don't know if that's because they don't have sulfites or silicones or anything chemically in them. I think that might be why the smell doesn't hold as well as like a normal drugstore shampoo. But, uh, I mean, I'd rather have no sulfites and no chemical-y stuff in them than your hair smelling. Honestly, I mean, that's so much better for your hair. It just makes it shinier. It makes it healthier. So, yeah, I'm loving it. Alba Botanicals. I highly recommend these and you can usually get them on offer at Target. I get them from this health food store on Blur Street because they're a bit cheaper there. Um, yeah, but they're under $10 each, which is really good for sulfite-free shampoos. Usually they're a bit more expensive. So I'm going to go on to clothing and non-beauty stuff. I movie favorite of the month is definitely Reality Bites. Um, I love this movie. I've seen it a bunch of times, but I watched it just the other day, and it just, for some reason, connected with me so much more. I don't know if I'm just feeling it more, what they're talking about in the movie, but I love Winona Ryder in it. It's my favorite role of hers. There's some great 90s fashion in it. The brown dress she wears in the after-graduation scenes is just to die for. I'm obsessed with it. Um, Janine Groffalo is amazing in it. Ethan Hawke's amazing in it. Uh, it was directed by Ben Stiller. It's just really well done. It was written or co-written by a 19 year old girl. So it's got a very youthful voice. It's very, it just feels really real to me. Um, and yeah, it's just an incredible movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. TV show wise, my favorite shows of the month have been um, Amazing Race, which is finishing tomorrow or today because the pretty video will probably be up on Sunday. Um, and Sons of Anarchy, which is also ending this week, which has just been, it's such a hard show to watch because you don't really like anyone on the show anymore. Everyone's just horrible. Um, and nothing good ever happens to anybody, but I'm so invested in the show. I think it's really just really well written and well acted. Um, but yeah, it's kind of really depressing to watch as well at the same time. The other show I've been loving is Supernatural, of course. Uh, this is just a little Jensen picture I've been having in the background of my videos. It's from uh, Frontierland, which was a couple seasons ago. That is my absolute favorite picture of him. But have I shown you from the convention? Look how freaking cute that is. Don't we look adorable together? Oh, so fun. The convention was so fun. That was in October, though, so I'm not really going to put that in my favorites, but I should I should show you me and Jared as well, right? Because it's only fair. You can't have one Winchester and not the other. Yeah. Anyway, uh, loving that. And there was a really great episode this month called Bad Boys, I believe. It was like a flashback episode. Excellent episode. Lastly, for my non-fashion stuff, is Little Bub. Little Bub has become my spirit animal. I love her so much. She brings me so much joy. Can you see December? Like, how freaking cute is that? Don't you just want to, like, 
adopt her even though she's already been adopted um, I love little bub if you don't know about her she has a YouTube channel and she is a little kid little cat she's very small she's only four pounds and she has six fingers on all her feet <laughs> six fingers six six toes on all her feet and she has no teeth so her tongue always sticks out and she has this um, deformity I guess, I guess deformity is the wrong word because it's really adorable and it, it it just makes her more special but basically her bones don't grow properly so she kind of has little dwarf legs oh my god she's so adorable these are just some stickers of her she's so cute and I basically buy everything that little Bob space is on I have a bunch of buttons like look how freaking adorable little Bob is and I also got little Bob Christmas cards this year these are from Etsy and all the other little bub stuff can be bought on her website, which is littlebub.com, or at Urban Outfitters, which is where I bought everything. All right, moving on to fashion. This scarf is definitely one of my favorites. So you can see how big it is. It's wool, buffalo check, and it's from Aritzia. And I freaking love this. I wear it pretty much every day. And it was $65, which is really expensive for a scarf. But Aritzia scarves are expensive. Um, they're amazing quality, though. And I feel like if you buy something you know you're going to wear all the time, it's not that bad. I highly recommend this one in particular because it's really big. It's really cozy. You can sub as a, like a blanket if you're on the plane or something and traveling this holiday. I love it so much. I think it comes in black and white as well. And then my other wintery favorite is my Carhartt toque. It's kind of wear it like that. Very gangsta. Um, Carhartt, one of my favorite brands. It's a workman brand from the States, made in Kentucky. And it's very hip now. Um, you can buy these hats all over Toronto now. It was $10. You can get them cheaper online. I really want to get some more colors because they're very warm. I'm also loving anything with a smiley face on it because it's so Nirvana. This is a sweater from H&M Divided. It was like $30 or $40 around there, but I, I love this. I wear it with this together. Oh my gosh, and it's like a 90s explosion. So obsessed with that. And then um, Victoria's Secret Pink has a whole bunch of smiley lines. I got the little shorts adorable the sleep shorts and my mom i know got this for me for christmas she got me the fuzzy smiley robe which is like fuzzy socks material it's amazing um but she wanted to wrap it and put it under the tree even though i picked it out so anyway i don't have it here but it's incredible if you like smiley faces go to victoria's secret and buy that um, I'm obsessed with these Doc Martens. I just bought them. They're from England. They are vintage. They're basically kind of pointed toe, um, which I have been really looking for, the pointy, pointy ones. These aren't uh, the same, but they're as close as I've been able to find in my size, and they're a Chelsea Boo style, which I love. And my last thing, I've been loving sweaters this month. So this is my favorite one from Forever 21. It's just my plaid cardigan. You saw it in my Forever 21 video. It has a little bub button on it. Like, obsessed with this sweater. I want the bright red one, too, that Natalie Off Duty has, always on her blog. Like, I'm obsessed with her. She's my favorite blogger of the moment. I mean, I've been following her forever, but she's just on point right now. And anyway, I want the red one, but it's not available in Canada. Why? Why, Forever 21, do you do this to me? But if you can get that one and this one, I urge you to do both. Um, another one I just bought at Forever 21 that is awesome is this, like, um, sweatshirt. It has a big 82 on it. I got the large so I could wear it with leggings, and it has flannel buffalo plaid sleeves. How awesome is that? I've already worn this twice, and I got it this past week. <laughs> um, another favorite, favorite sweater is this TNA sweater from Aritzia. They have it in red, too, but I got the black and white because I have so much red buffalo plaid stuff. It has a bit of cashmere in it. It was around $85, I want to say. Aritzia sweaters are really expensive, but they are amazing quality. Another sweater I've been adoring is this one from Shein Side, and it's got daisies all over it. And it has that kind of ripped, um, Wild Fox-esque bottom and sleeves. The negative to this is that it's not all the way around, which a Wild Fox sweater is much better quality and would have the pattern all the way around, but this was only $25. Uh, I don't think once I wash it it's going to hold up very well, but um, if you just want the look, and it's probably something a little trendy anyway, it is it is a nice sweater. Um, I saw this on Brittany Balin's channel and it looked really cute on her and that's why I bought it. So yeah, I do recommend it, but 
be forewarned, the quality isn't amazing. And my last favorite sweater is an oldie but a goodie. It's from The Gap, and it is men's, a men's sweater. I got it quite a few years ago now, so it's not there anymore, but I definitely recommend The Gap for sweaters. They make beautiful stuff. They actually make better guy stuff, in my opinion, than girl stuff. But it's this speckly brown material with red stripes, and it's one of my favorite sweaters. It's super warm, it has pockets. And I got it so that it would be long enough to wear with leggings. And honestly, every time I wear it, I get compliments on it. So uh, it's always been one of my favorites, even though it wasn't that expensive. And it's a guy's sweater. But yeah, love it. So that's my favorites. I want to do a shout out to one YouTuber, and that would be uh, Bunny, Graveyard Girl. I started watching her this past month, and I've become obsessed. I know she's very popular, but uh, I was late on the game. But I must say, she's become one of my favorites. She's always so positive and lovely in her videos, and I just enjoy just listening to her talk. Subscribed. Um, I've given a gator its wings, and I love her thrift hurls and her tea vlogs. And another shout out to uh, Estee and Aslan, um, Essie Button. Uh, they are doing vlogmas. I've been watching so many people's vlogmases, but they are definitely my favorite. Them and Reggie. They're just so lovely to watch. Um, and the fellow Canadian. So hi Estee if you're watching this. If you haven't seen either of them, though I'm sure you both, you all have seen them, definitely check them out. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything and I'll see you guys soon.